Hey, the Memphis Tech Tip. My name is Mark, and in this video, we'll be going over creating and placing a forming tool. As you can see here, I have the part already created. In order to convert it over into a forming tool, we're going to have to go over to Sheet Metal, Forming Tool, select our stopping face, our faces to remove, hit OK. Now you see that SolidWorks generates different colors. The cyan represents the stopping faces, and red represents faces to remove. Now we're going to save the file, so we're going to go File, Save As. Under Save As Types, we're going to select the Form Tool File Type. This file type allows you to save the forming tool in different locations besides the design library. But as of now, I'm just going to save it under forming tools in my design library. Now I'm going to minimize this part. I'm going to bring up a sheet metal part. From here, I'm going to go into the design library, hit the drop down, right click on the forming tools, then click on the forming tool folder. From here, select yes to the message. Now I'm going to drag in my forming tool feature, drop, I'm going to select the opposite face here. Now I'm going to position it, I'm going to go up to smart dimension, from here I'm going to select the origin and this edge, and I'm going to give it a dimension of 6 millimeters. Now I'm going to select the origin again and dimension it to this edge. Going to give it a dimension of 24 millimeters. Going to hit OK. OK again. And now you can see SolidWorks has generated our forming tool feature. Now with this knowledge, you'll be able to create and place forming tool features in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. We hope you are able to join us for next week's session. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.